everybody, uh, thanks for joining me on what is now day 9 of the workshop extension and improvements uh, build and uh, I'm just uh, putting up uh, three more plasterboards. Now I've got to do this on my own because both my son and daughter are out doing their, their work at the moment so um, I've devised a method of uh, making things a little easier for myself. And uh, a tip which might be of benefit to somebody else. It's quite common sense really. But you learn these things as you go along. I call these helping hands. Let this help to hold the, uh, the plasterboard. whilst I uh, mark it. This is the last uh, board for the internal cladding. I'm glad to say. That's the last board, the last ceiling board. Well, I'm very pleased to say that the internal structure now has been fully boarded and clad. Uh, and the next important job is to go and get a cup of tea. Actually, the next thing, next thing I'm going to do is actually board this window up. And uh, I think it was Louise uh, that said, uh, Hi Louise. Louise said, uh, Why do you want to board that up? Uh, it's, it's because I need the wall space here, Louise, because my dust extraction system is going to fit on the wall in this corner and may come over to this area a little bit so I need this as wall space and also I've got a large window in there with sufficient light coming in to illuminate the heat treatment room um, but it's, it's not such a good idea to have bright light in your heat treatment room because you want to be able to see the colour of the steel when you bring it out of the kiln so uh, a bit of subdued light level in there is a good thing. It's too tall. Inch. It's not wide enough. What's going on? Ah, that's 
better. Wrong way round. Thank goodness for that. Well, that's uh, the window boarded in. Uh, the, the whole extension is now clad internally. The ceiling is up and insulated. Um, the windows still need to be um, sealed and uh, that won't happen until I actually finally clad the outside. Um, so I'm still a way off from doing that. But I want to start on the decorating and uh, I know I can't properly finish the decorating until the windows are sealed but I want to get the bulk of this extension um, the gaps all filled up and the, the paint on because uh, tomorrow we're fitting the uh, electrics. Someone did mention in a comment uh, how am I putting the electrics in uh, and uh, I didn't want to install them actually in the building itself. I spoke to John, um, my friend, who's going to help me with the uh, air conditioning. Um, he suggested to use uh, electricity as conduit, so we're going to use plastic conduit all the way around with uh, specific outlets where I want them. And uh, that will mean that at a later date, should I want to move the electrics around or not, um, I can do that. Whereas if they're built into the wall, I've got to basically live with that uh, setup then. So uh, this is a more flexible way of attaching, uh, of, of installing your electrics in a workshop. So that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, you'll see that in due, co due course. Noel comes tomorrow, and he's going to help me install this sort of the, ca the cabling. Um, and then next week, John comes and, uh, and connects it all up, and uh, then hopefully I'll be back in business again. It's time for a bit of a break. Energy levels went a bit low. I've uh, got on with a fair bit of filling. I've still got a bit more to do over there. You can see a bit of it just here. Wait for that to dry, then I might put some paint on hopefully uh, before the end of the day. But um, to replenish one's energy levels, my choice of snack is Haribo, Super Mix, and salted peanuts. No doubt, wash down with a cup of tea later on. You want some peanuts? You want some Haribo? Some Haribo. Get some peanuts. I like peanuts, don't you? I don't like to leave them. She likes peanuts, but she doesn't like the Haribo. Oh, what's wrong with the Haribo? It's my favourite. First coat's gone on, it's uh, brought it up somewhat, and as they say, when you put a light colour on the walls, it seems to make the place look larger. I suppose it has a little bit. But now I'm turning my concentration to this opening. Uh, I've, still got, I've still got a bit of the conduit going across, which takes power to my other workshop, but I want to uh, chase that, those bricks down, uh, down there. I was going to use my friend Noel's disc cutter, um, but I wasn't. Uh, they, they generate so much dust, it's incredible. But I found that the SDS drill is actually quite good at chasing the bricks down quite accurately. So I'm going to chase them down and I'm going to line the opening with some sterling board and tidy it up.
<laughs> it makes me feel good, I tell you. Be able to walk through that and to get over an obstacle. Anyway, I'll tidy up that side of the opening. This side I'll, uh, I'll do tomorrow, I think. It's getting on a bit now. Uh, I want to head in for a cup of tea. And uh, who knows, I may even watch a bit of YouTube again. You never know. Uh, anyway, um, the beard is uh, coming on, as you can see. Uh, it's, a, it's got a few grey flecks in it, unfortunately. Uh, but I have to live with that. But I am going to shave it off when this building is complete. And um, I spoke to my friend John Lane, who's coming next week to fit the uh, dust extraction, etc. And um, he says, give it another week and you'll be done. So um, tomorrow, Noel's coming to help me uh, fit the uh, electric trunking. And um, I've got to then install the uh, workbenches. I've got to batten and weatherboard the, ex the exterior. Uh, so there's still a little way to go, but uh, I must admit, I am now beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel. So uh, thank you all for your comments. I, I really do appreciate your comments and your support. Uh, I, I'm glad that you're enjoying the, uh, this series of videos. And hopefully uh, I'll have another video for you tomorrow, which I think will be day 10, this being day 9. So thanks once again for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye for now.